I'm part of a machine that always wins. There's no worse enemy than the United States Marine. Um, you know, we're, we're masters of controlled chaos and violence. There's some definitely scary parts of that plan. Marjo is such a difficult piece of ground. Hundreds and hundreds of Taliban here. And not only Taliban, but kind of the hardcore extremist, best trained guys that got IEDs everywhere, triple possible, you know, anti-aircraft guns. Definitely expecting casualties. But that's what the Marines do. Whatever the president needs us to do is what we do. What's going on, Bravo? You guys ready to go? The Taliban have their fist in the mix here. Trust me, this is going to be chaotic. This plan that we've rock drilled over and over, as soon as you get off the bird, it's not worth anything. Every single one of you is going to have to make 100 decisions that there is no right answer to. But guess what? You have to act. You have to decide. You have to act. I've talked to you before about the gift of aggression. You're here for a reason. When the enemy chooses to face us on the battlefield, win the direct fire fight right now. Overwhelming surgical firepower. Destroy him immediately. I guarantee you we will lose Marines. I guarantee you what we will. Don't let emotions control you. There's 80,000 civilians in this city. There's maybe 1,000 enemy. And when I go home, I don't want to feel ashamed because, you know, I'm, I'm having problems sleeping at night because I'm not sure that I did the right thing. What happens over the next five days will be a cornerstone of your memory for the rest of your life. All right, Jen, that's all I got. one of the biggest allied offensives so far. U.S. Marines are heading up a force to attack the Taliban. They are gathering around the town of Marja in Helmand province, getting ready to drive off the Taliban and restore government order. This is the first major offensive since President Barack Obama announced he was sending 30,000 reinforcements, a new strategy for turning back the Taliban. Afghanistan is not lost, but for several years, it has moved backwards. Gradually, the Taliban has begun to control additional swaths of territory. This is a day with destiny. For the rest of your careers, you will be known as Marjorie Marine. The Afghan army who will be fighting alongside the Marines. You don't want to mess with this guy, I'll tell you that. We will pursue a military strategy that will secure key population centers. The Marines have effectively cut off all escape routes out of Marja. They're doing everything they can to let the people of Marja know they're coming. Many families have already left the city to avoid being caught in the crossfire. Ultimately, our efforts across Afghanistan are about changing the perceptions of people. I want the Afghan people to understand. America seeks an end to this era of war and suffering. Marja is considered a key test of Obama's strategy. This is a critical point. It may be the critical point. 
God bless you. And God bless the United States of America. Thank you very much. Thank you. Reports from inside the city suggest that hundreds of hardcore insurgents are bracing for a fight. Now we're sweeping for some IEDs, hoping we don't step on anything. It's a very slow process, and with this many guys, it can take a while. And that's what these IEDs do. They take us away from our own game plan. So we're having to swap up our tactics and kind of play uh, the chess game. It's not checkers now. See all those antennas? That's building 21. last 10 minutes. Just keep in mind, there's a couple guys at this intersection. They're walking down that road, it looks like. They definitely know we're here now. They're just walking around watching us like we're the zoo. I'm trying to maneuver all around us. A comfortable situation. No lie, they've left the city, but I'm sure several stayed. pop up, start firing, lay into them. Push up and try to get eyes on this first compound right there. Come here, come here! God. 
Get down. Where you hit at? In my fucking leg. Oh, fucking shit. Oh. Hold that. What the fuck? I got you, boy. I got you. I got you. Roger, this is 3 1. It's Doc Morrison, right leg. Uh, arterial bleed. Heavy red blood. Hey, where's that coming from? What do you see? What do you see? Started firing from that compound over there. There's like eight of them. Shot the rockets. And I'm, they were effective. Like, no shit. Like, I was, yeah, I'm a, it's effective. Let's fucking get the fuck away. Took fire from down here at this intersection. That they fired that RPG. They popped around that corner from that intersection and fired that RPG. There was no pangs or claps. It was all sing, sing. Get down, brother. We're taking fire from fucking the goddamn right. Have we stopped fleeing yet? We're stopped for a couple minutes now. So I gotta get you out of here, man. So we'll get them fucking moving. We need air on that motherfucker right there. It's pretty close. Yes. Every time they that moped stopped at the end, he was dropping guys off. And they ran in there. That's where they're flooded. There's at least 10 to 12. Get a fucking shot out! The next one you fucking see! Do you hear me? Son of a bitch. What? He's getting close to <laughs> Why not call in air now? They may be trying to, but uh, they're just worried about collateral damage and uh, affecting the people, which you don't want to take out innocent people, but you know, what's more important, your Marines or got to shoot at you. What do you think the Taliban fighters are doing there? Probably low. Yeah. Taxes. They've been uh, fucking hiding AK-47 in one spot and moving to another. Then when they finish that spot, they run to another spot that's actually good, good hidden place. Have the AK-47 there, and they shoot off the grounds until it's a, over there, and they move again. Do the same thing over again. It's not just one guy spraying like uh, we're used to. These guys actually know what they're doing. Roger, we're taking contact from building 30. Break. 
Hey, what are they fucking in? Fuck your mom, guys. But just trees blocking it. No. That, that building out there is the sporadic fire coming from. Fucking good eyes on this cocksucker right here. I don't like being here. In this place? It's not at all. It's too fucking small. Close to a fucking attack position. Perfect range for rockets and motors. Easy fucking distance to judge. So it'd be pretty easy to crack it. I'm sure we won't stay here long. That's where they're fucking dipping from. He's in there shooting at some pop shots from that crack right there. Fuck. Oh. Piece of shit. All right, hold it. All right, fall back in real quick. Hold on. jab into building 20. <laughs> all right, that door, I ain't all about going through it because they could fucking probably run back and forth, not kosher. So clear 20 and 21. And fucking fire another damn bitch into the fucking building 19. Because if they have a fucking machine gun right here, they just kill the fucking entire platoon. Goddamn. <laughs> Cover and maneuver. Whoa! Tell them we're getting shot at from behind us. Yeah, exact same building. Go, 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 They wouldn't get closer than 600 meters last year. These guys are like 150 meters if closer. And they're, these, they got affected fire last year. It was just straight sporadic. Never hit anything, really. Little boy, miss him. For real, dude. How old is he? Five months. Don't worry, guys. Five months, February 13th. Miss him. We'll help you out, man. I'll be home to him, too. How much time did you spend with him before you came in? Uh, about two months, two, three months. Not too bad. It'll be big when I get home. Can't wait. What's your direction of movement? That's boat cutters. Boat cutters. Ready? Yeah. All right, here we go.
<laughs> They're probably like, oh, look at our RPGs. Imagine how that felt. Southern Afghanistan. Operation Mushtarak, meaning together, moving deeper into Marja. As a way to show their joint control of the operation, U.S. Commander Stanley McChrystal and Afghan General Sher Mohammad Zazi held a press conference together. While this is an Afghan-led operation, I think it highlights the special partnership that we've developed that I'm very proud of. And I would ask for the media to watch the bravery of Afghan national security forces. We will shift the emphasis of our mission to increasing the size of Afghan security forces so that they can eventually take the lead in securing their country. This is not Marine companies here and Afghan companies here. This is squad and squad, platoon and platoon going out together. There's a brotherhood there of great trust and cooperation between us. And this isn't fluff, this isn't talk. I mean, this is the real deal. Uh, the, the Marines have great respect for the Afghan army, and, and I think that's uh, reciprocal. All right. Thank you. Next question. Next question. and they're gonna go in, okay? Yes, you kick the board and move, and they're gonna go in. Go in as soon as he kicks the door. Go, go! go, go. Get the go. fuck in there! No, fuck, no. Get the fuck there. No, go. get the fuck in there! Watch the course, watch the course. Right. Hey, 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 go, 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 go. Come on. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. Hey, let's go. Get in there. Go in there. Get in there, get in there. Is it clear? Oh, good. Good, good. No good. Good. Is it good? No one in there? Hey, good. No good. No good. Talib, no. Good, Talib, no. No, 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 no talib, okay. Oh. Yes, sir. Here, was a police station, but you tell some other people moved in. Taliban, Taliban. 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 That's opium, the opium ball, which is then processed into that. This is about 60,000 US dollars. This is uh, ammonium nitrate to make ammonium nitrate aluminum, which is known as anal. It's IED maker material. Understanding the Alpha and Charlie got minimal contact. I mean, they've got sporadic stuff, but it sounds like everybody, all the fighters, are kind of stuck in the center of town. There's about 250 of them left. It seems like they're all right here. We're the only show in town, from what I understand. 
So we flew in, met some pretty significant resistance right up front. Um, after we landed within a couple hours, we were attacked from 360 degrees while we continued to push up and uh, seize our little foothold of uh, the Karuchere village here. We lost an engineer that was trying to bring up breaching equipment. You know, and I'm the one that called back and told him, get the APOBs, bring it up here. And somebody, you know, I can't remember who it was. Somebody was arguing with me on the radio about how heavy the fire was. And I told him, I don't care. Get the APOBs up here. We got to get into the objective. And about a half hour after the incident, I found out that doing that, you know, one of, uh, one of the Marines had been killed and been shot, you know, in the back as he was moving out to get that piece of gear. We always go into these fights. We know, you know, in a fight like this, I know that I'm going to lose Marines. But this guy was doing exactly a task that I told him we needed to do. And, uh, you know, he got killed doing it. So that's, uh, that was definitely the lowest point I've had so far. That, that took me a while to reconcile in my head. And we move on now to Afghanistan and the massive battle to clear the Taliban stronghold of Marja. Pentagon spokesman Jeff Morrell says the Taliban is being squeezed. Our hope is clearly that this is creating a, a certain amount of discontent, worry, turmoil within the organization such that it is. gear on. Can't leave the building without my gear on. Or I can, but that wouldn't be very... My wife wouldn't like that. What they're saying on the radio says uh, that they're actually trying to move closer to the base, to our defense here. So... We got to fix our post up, so they're probably going to see us on this roof and start firing. So I want to get down as quick as possible. So we got to roll with the beast. They say they got one out in the road over there. They said they could see the line. All right. Spider drop, baby. Spider drop. Who can't stop? Uh, show, show them the wire and stuff that you see. I don't know what they see. 
Could be anything in there, hey, but it's, it's, it's big as fuck, and it's electric. It's that. running into the other compound. Yeah, it looks at least a 50-pound or whatever, whatever it could be. Just keep fucking eyes on me until I get back, because I got to sweep down there, all right? OK. Because I don't want somebody popping over with a fucking gun and capping it, you know what I'm saying? Listen up after it goes off. Listen for uh, Frag. All right, Stay so low. everybody be quiet. God damn. All right, let's see. I just gotta look down the alley, make sure it's all fucking gone, all right? All right, Jack. Let's walk around the corner here. Hey, I got two guys up there. Two guys running? No, they're not running. They're walking. Spot it, Haiti. They, See what you got. They just went down behind, like, a fucking little berm or some shit. Is that shooting at us? No. no. That sounds like, that sound like a man. Hey, back up. Oh, that's not American. Hey, let's go. Where's the fucking target at? Crowds are hitting up. What do you got? Give me a goddamn shot at him. For Christ's sake, the fucking ones you see. You see a guy out there, you fucking hit him. See the brown? Show it to him. Show it to him. It's 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock. Yeah. They're on. They're on. One back. shooter yeah, on top of the roof. We spotted him. We're going to take a law shot and knock him out. I'll copy. Slow and methodical. Look at those motherfuckers in there. Bring the other one. Give me a shot on it. Hey, put your head down, Perry. You ready? Go. We got a hit. We got a confirmation hit. Did you volunteer to do this job? Yes, I did. It's a little fun sometimes, a little crazy others. You see that? Keep eyes on We're going over the wall. We're going over the wall. They're going into this fucking building. No, 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 no. This John, 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 get the fuck John, over here. Get over the damn wall. Find out what the guy's waving at. You think we speak past two? Get the fuck over here. Hey, Masalan, this all about what the guy's waving Oh, no, this little son of a bitch. Come on, hey. Put him on camera. I'm not gonna be a person. Hey, he's 20 years old. Is he really 20 years old? It's freaky. Shut up, yeah, brother. Hey, you're a little bit of a 
So anything else? Do we just like to rent this place out for the night? For tonight? Yep. Hey. Tell the way one. All right. Seriously, we want. Jang the Jang the part of the place. Where should they? No, they can still stay here with us. They'll be okay to stay here with us for tonight. This is good. We're good? Yeah, you're good. Yeah, this is good. Give me, a, give me a mad dash once you get Well, it sounds like it's coming from the building uh, directly east of the mosque. I got it. And also from across the street. Hey, George. I'm going to pop out. You just run in the middle of the street. Lob up. Hey, give your head down. What was that? Did they shoot the sandbag? I don't think so, sir. It sure looked like he shot the sandbag to me. He did. The sniper, the most psychologically effective weapon on the battlefield, because there's nothing you can do about it. You know? Okay, so who you got up there? Calling him Langdon. Yeah, Langdon, your DM. Yeah, that's him oh. firing. Probably the Mark 12, Mark 11. Mark 12. Mark 12. I wonder what direction they hear this from. <laughs> I came up and uh, I turned around to uh, get my rifle passed to me and as I turned around I guess my head was just a little above the sandbags and he shot and he ended up hitting me directly in the head and uh, it cracked me back and I was dazed and didn't really know what was going on and I just told I, I was like I'm hit but this is where it hit about an inch above uh, my eye. And uh, this is the mount where it hit. This is what they say stopped the round from actually coming through the uh, Kevlar. It hurt really, like, really, really bad. I, I thought I was dying. I thought I'd, I'd actually been hit. So it scared me pretty bad. Why does coding think it's coming from? You know? You said two or three hundred meters from the cracks. Bossman, stay motivated.
clear the enemy out and, and let the people return. General McChrystal and every expert that uh, talks about counterinsurgency, you know, that we pretty clearly understand now that the key to, to winning any fight like this is to uh, control the population and not control them, but um, I don't want to use win hearts and minds, but that's basically it, you know, to get the people on your side and let them understand that you're here for them. Afghans believe more of what they see than what they hear. This is a struggle for the support of the Afghan people. Our willingness to operate in ways that minimize casualties or damage, even when doing so makes our task more difficult, is essential to our credibility. The hope for NATO trying to win support among the locals. Civilian deaths in Afghanistan have put pressure on foreign troops trying to win the trust and support from citizens. I cannot overstate my commitment to the importance of this concept. ready for a final remarks. Line 8, 1,800 meters northwest. That is northwest 1,800 meters. All right, we got everything we need. Roger, that is confirmed. That is your target. We are awaiting approval. We're trying to get fucking clearance. Watching them for 30 minutes prior to this. Where's six? A firm hog, hold for now. Abort for now. Uh, seize copy, thanks. Good day, man. Huh? Gunny and I will be in the rear with all headquarters. Give you EOD. All right. There's a nice dirty wall here. We'll follow down. There's a little trench here set up right here. And this is where we were at. All right. Good. I'm good, sir. I mean, we're, we're bringing all the right? yeah. Empty, empty. I'm Leave it. Good. Leave it. Same she did last night. Man. You're fine. Leave it. Just leave it. You're pointing at people. Leave it. You're good. Right. Step time. Is your boys ready? Char ready? Yeah, we're ready. We're stepping. Yeah. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, 
Roger. Be advised, there's mass movements around buildings 29 and 15. I'll copy. Let's go. Go oh, now, get in. Go, go. Let's get in. Go in that building. Okay. So we need to get in there and clear this building out. Yeah. <laughs> They're on the back side of that building somewhere. Hey, keep eyes in case they start egressing to the west. There they are, there they are! Needs to scoot up to the edge of the wall. You're on target, but scoot the fuck up. Go! I hit that first guy. He's fucking dead. I like to hear, baby. I hit that guy right in the fucking head. Fuck yeah. Second last. Well, that was intense. Man, those fucking assholes are using those kids and women as cover to get out of there. Horse shit, man. Oh, God. Give me a 203. Come here, Nimes. Here's what I want you to hit. See those three trees right there? Those the big ones? Trees. You see those big tall ones? Yeah. Just right on the other side of that building. I want you to pepper them. Hey, range is 300. 300. <laughs> Solid copy. We're, again, we're in building four, and uh, pretty sure that three took contact from either building 10 or 11. It was right on top of us. Yeah, victory is cheap.
Eggs made it, huh? That's pretty impressive. The eggs survive. Everything else goes. Look out! Look at our position from here. That roof right there is where we ambushed them. That's the roof you guys were on. Yep. I was behind that little triangle thing standing up. Oh yeah. yeah. As you can see from here, it's a perfect position. It totally isolates the entire rest of the town. They had nowhere to go. We had them completely trapped. Oh, you weren't that far, then. These bitches didn't have a chance. No. They, and they had no idea we were up there. No, they didn't. No. Huge moral victory for the company. Didn't work, did they, motherfucker? Five, five, six. Yep. Oh yeah. Flashlight. Yeah. He died right where he was laying. Yeah, he had his hand rigor, rigor mortis had set in around his around the rifle, so he was still gripping it. I think it's a uh, eight millimeter Mauser. What are you gonna do with him? What him? Yeah. I don't believe we're gonna do anything with him. We're just leaving him. Sir, who is who? We're gonna get the other shot. Hey, more. Did I was in it? I was also for Coronet. Can you look for the shot? They say he was not Taliban either, but they forced him to give him a gun. The Taliban forced him, gave them gun to. Are there any more? Roger COC, uh, believe we've identified the uh, sniper position break. Uh, there's a vertical loophole in the wall here, break. It has perfect side alignment for uh, the post for Lamont and the snipers were hit. Break. And we found uh, 17, 17 556 five, rounds. Talk out. Shot for you. Was one of your men shot from here? Uh, three of them, actually. Four, four. Uh, three medevacs, for sure. So he's probably sitting back in the room in the shadow where we couldn't see indication of his weapon at all. Shooting through the slit in the wall. Perfect angle. Uh, to know that he has to be far enough back so that his muzzle flash isn't seen. And uh, certainly to engage targets. You know, he was hitting them in the chest and in the head from back here. So he was uh, probably well-trained military. Absolutely. Yep. What, what military would have, would have trained him? Possibly ours at some point. Probably using a, a weapon that we supplied him in some way or another. But good to know we found a spot and we own it now. 
We're burning daylight. Yep. This is done. All right, we're we ready. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's continue the game. Daisy chained uh, to uh, make them simultaneously detonate. Actually, the most complex one I've, uh, I've found in country so far. The intention was to catch a whole platoon, all of them at once, in the alleyway. Daisy chain, probably uh, probably 150 meters. Yeah, these are probably the best looking pieces of ordnance I've seen in this country. It's heavy metal. The deck cord goes off and pushes everything out. Uh, out the front of it, it just works like a big cannon with a bunch of crap stuffed in it. Oh, wow. Nice. It's a bit like swimming in the ocean. You'd never do it if you knew how many sharks there really were. <laughs> That's a money shot. Explosives and a whole bunch of nasty frag that they stick in it. It's pretty much pointed right at you right now. You gotta try and uh, burn this one out. Taliban stronghold. A battle going well. Taliban finished. Taliban go. next part is to hold the area that we have. Once we push the enemy out, we have to hold security here and allow the people to start to move back in and resume their daily lives. And then from there, we have to, you know, we build on, um, you know, what we've established. We help them, you know, open their schools back up and open their bazaars back up and establish police stations and the local government and, um, you know, allow the local government to start, you know, building their projects as well so that you know, in the grand scheme, that's kind of how how counterinsurgency works. Gentlemen, thank you all for coming. Uh, my name's uh, Captain Ryan Sparks. We're very happy. It's a great day that we can, uh, you know, the Taliban are gone and we can finally start to open your bazaar back up. Get all of your stores repaired, fix anything that's broken so that you can uh, start your life again as soon as possible. Hey, first store open, baby. 
Taliban will eventually lose their freedom of movement. They'll become irrelevant, and you know they'll just dissipate. Stand here. They'll become Stand irrelevant. Jesse McLean. What's up, bro? You here for this uh, meeting? Yeah. All this one? Yeah. All right. You got the uh, civil affairs guy? I got Gunny D. Yeah. Ver B. Burwell. Yeah. 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 Is he okay. here? No. I no, he's us. the guy who's actually handling the payments, my understanding. Okay. 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 First. Also, we evac 11. So 17 total. There were 17 people in the house, yeah. And four were killed. So that's what we're going to talk about. Four were killed. So that's the guy we're going to talk to the guy about. Right. You're looking at the definition of innocent people. There's no question about it. You know, little girls. I mean, there's, there's just no, no way to rationalize um, that this was in any way a good thing or justified. Or it, it just, it's just a terrible failing and a terrible sight. Um, I was waiting for your call to call me to come out and take me to a safe place. I don't know what happened. Somebody fired or something happened in my house, my relative. The one family is almost finished. There's only one child left. And the other uh, family got two injured. And so there, there, were, there were four deceased. Bottom one. Check. Tell them I, I, I'm very sorry. And I can feel his pain. Was I know what he's going through. We're really sorry for uh, for what happened yesterday. It pains us all here to uh, to know what you must be going through right now with the loss that you just suffered. There's not there's nothing we can do to bring back your loss. What we can do is try to help you out by by giving you uh, the very least that we can with a payment for your losses. So <clears throat> what I'll do now is uh, I'll present him with the uh, with, uh, condolence payment. Uh, and like I said, it's it's it's, uh, it's the absolute least that we can do um, because obviously there's you can't bring back someone to love. Uh, 
But again, I'm, I'm, I'm deep, deep in the start. Gentlemen, this is for you. For your losses. Uh, uh, you know, the U.S. Marines, the, the citizens of Afghanistan, and the government of Afghanistan together can achieve great things to make Afghanistan a safer and more prosperous place for all. I've been told this by Afghans before. I don't mind Marines, I don't mind Taliban, I just want everyone to leave me alone and leave my, I want to leave my life. You know, and I, I think there's something to be said for that point of view, and certainly if you've lost family members, I couldn't stand in front of you and tell you otherwise, and that's, it's not really my, my place. Uh, I, I don't know, if I was in his shoes, It's almost like there's two entirely different levels. There's the political level and then there's the level on the ground. Um, I'm not quite sure I've entirely reconciled them for myself right now. training and assistance. And that's why we are increasing our efforts to train Afghan security forces.
it is slower and harder than we anticipated. I do not want to underestimate or understate the challenge. Very important test case to find out if the new U.S. strategy will work. We refurbished the whole mosque, put their fancy minarets up there. And you got to see Gunny Deep Park, which is what they call it. We keep trying to change the name, they won't let us. We're trying to get it to uh, Freedom Park. <laughs> but they redid this whole, they, all the walls on the outside of this mosque. Yeah, here's the park. We're pretty proud of this right here. <laughs> As you can tell, the benches are a little slanted right there, but uh, we're working on that because these people aren't used to benches here, so. Assalamu alaikum. alaikum. Because we're trying to create a little local economy here around the bazaar that eventually can become self-sufficient. So we start out with you know, cash for work and quick impact projects to get the bazaar clean and to get it functioning again. And then that injects money into the bazaar. That's kind of the overall plan. Working good so far. Вот хорошо возят люди, да, базар за добару за мы бяшо возят нисты, да, базар кем нет и когда мардунги не дать, да, вот бы так хорошо хлопанья саяна базай саяна нисты. Я не возят урас по урас харапижи, а лад урас по урас харапижи. Да и в разе сах хватавади, да, потому что клип ради, а забра бы не ради, рад не ради. Я не да пеш певаде да что да чапа новора гели там, да я новора гели, а ман саму. He was the guy that was fucking telling all the rest of them what to do. Oh, yeah? They're out here. Yeah, I think we're going to Our exit strategy. This turns into the police, then we go to the next village, turn it into the police, and then we go home. Is he currently in good health? Yes. The reality is, is that six months ago, I'm sure some of these guys are Taliban. Um, we'll see what happens. American <laughs> Afghanistan for dear come Julie, she tells theater, she's a rubber key of Kalagulian as a out there. Come to Julie, she will rock a shea up for somebody does not say about them. Dicky will tell you the thing of comes out. Tell you the Dagawatan Sari, Dagia, how to the bar, not the other.
Holy crap. <laughs> Holy shit, huh? Fucking rifle. I just barely missed, huh? <laughs> that whistle passed. <laughs> it's definitely the most difficult tour I've done. Um, and, you know, in order for me to do my job, I have to have some loyalty and faith. But the Taliban are still here, and we still are taking casualties. You know, every couple days, or well, not every couple days, once a week, once every two weeks. Um, you know, somebody gets shot in the arm or shot in the leg, or you know. So it's it wears on you. It wears on the Marines. These people, I don't, they're not like Americans, how, there's no way you can trust them. They let the Taliban beat them, but if it comes to one of us saying the wrong phrase or anything to these people, and they just lose their lid, you know, because we're Americans and that Taliban was from the same tribe as me, you know, and it's ridiculous, it's a, it's a mind fuck, it's frustrating, and that, that's a losing ball game. You know, Marines don't fight wars. Marines fight battles. Um, and I think, you know, Marge is an, is an example of that. You know, the war on terror or, or whatever happens here, you know, in the next months, in the next year, whatever this place was like before we got here, whatever uh, impact we had here, uh, we had our operation order, and we, we fought the battle. And, um, and the other stuff, I think, will drive you crazy. We are pressing forward in Afghanistan. to Kandahar. So make no mistake, we have a clear goal. This is the area that, we're, that we stopped trying to control out that way. Um, it kind of, our, our area of control fades a little bit as soon as you get about a click away from here. It gradually gets worse, but this is the this is the edge of where we're really actively trying to uh, secure the area. Literally right there, that room. This is probably one of the most hostile places in Afghanistan still. Might as well be a different country. Yep.